Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I'm going to check out the newest hotfix for the game which hopefully solved the SOI bug but I'll be the judge of that, we will test that out. Uh, I had built something, went to the tracking station at Time Warp so that we were at the window for a transfer to Duna and then come back and my craft has gone... it's not right. Uh, but to be fair to the game, uh, it's probably my fault. I made the seat the root part. So it was the command chair that was the root part. And maybe it doesn't like that. I, I, I'll forgive it for that. Uh, so it was orig originally this Xenon Demon. And I made a launch. It was this Xenon Demon launch. Uh, but when I load that, it loads like this. If I uh, even restart the game. So let's clear, load. And there's a clean save. Nothing else has happened here. So anyway, what I'm going to do is actually going to rebuild it here. And this time I won't make the seat the root part. We'll just keep this uh, little Nano or Octo 2 the root part. And I'm going to try... I'll show you what I'm doing here. In fact, uh, what I'm about to make is not advisable in any circumstance whatsoever. We are going to put a whole bunch of Xenon tanks. Come on, two, three, four at least. Okay, and then we're going to put a nuclear reactor. Uh, we don't have uh, the radiators yet, otherwise we'll need those. The nuclear reactor only has a node on the bottom and has no surface attach, so we have to play this trick. Oh shoot. See now, that's not gonna be good. Rerouting. I always do the accidental rerouting because three is the rotation in Kerbal Space Program one, but it's not in Kerbal Space Program two. So all right. Uh, so we move this here. It's probably not gonna like this too much. <laughs> and uh, once again, I don't blame it entirely for messing up on this craft. It is going to be a very complicated craft, but essentially. Um, our Kerbal is going to be riding a very large nuclear reactor uh, with ion engines uh, that, that will be powering ion engines, is the idea. And this is my first test of the ion engines, I think, in Kerbal Space Program 2. I basically waited until they fixed the SOI bug, or hope they fixed the SOI bug. And that is why I'm doing it now. We need to be able to mount multiple ion engines. That's not really there. And the reason why we need to mount multiple ion engines is because the nuclear reactor can accommodate them. Okay, let me just move that up because otherwise it's going to keep... And we're putting two more. These will be in that symmetry. And two more there. And so what we want is, we see the center of mass here. We want these two to be directly in line with the center of mass. And then while we have a whole lot of fuel, we're going to use this top one more and shut this bottom one off. So if we take a look at the center of thrust here, uh, we won't need to shut this one off completely, but we're, we're going to thrust limit it a little bit. That should be about right. And then as these tanks get empty, for instance, we'll reset the center of mass there. You can see it moves like that. Well, then we're going to unthrust limit this one and reduce this one. And then it'll shift like that. So, we might want this bottom engine to be a little bit further down. So now instead of thrust limiting it to zero, we can get some extra there. Okay, but for now, let's get the fuel back. And then there's still fuel here, but we're going to add some extra tanks to deal with that too. We're going to put a few extra tanks. Now we can't surface attach to the nuke. I shouldn't blame the game for um, not being able to load this craft after after the fact. I'm asking a lot out of it.
That looks good. We'll add some more of those radial ones down here, basically in line with the center of mass. I, I don't think that's being honest with me about the 32,000, because that was 24. That's 21. Why would we suddenly get... See, we get like 3,000 extra there, and then we add another set. We shouldn't get 32,000 like that. So, that's confusing. So, obviously this is not going to be able to launch on its own like this. Right now it's 4 tons, basically, exactly, and has negligible thrust weight ratio. We'll uh, look into that. Um, reaction wheel-wise, it only has what's in the little Octo-2 core, which is practically nothing. And we've just got a Kerbal hanging out in the seat there. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I have no idea. It's going to be interesting. So, fairing. I don't know if I'm missing anything. The nuke has some power in it. 500 electric charge. And it, in theory, has uh, 50 units of power per second. And the... Ion engines each consume 10, so we've got a surplus of 10. Okay, now we're all good. I'm not painting it anything special, this is a test. And we're also going to use one of the new extendable nozzle engines. A medium sized one, the trumpet here. The trumpet has 160 kilonewtons of thrust, so 16 tons, let's say. And we're 19.8 tons, so just a little bit less than a thrust weight ratio 1 in vacuum. It's not going to tell us to vacuum when it tells us to see level 1 there. And that's plenty of uh, delta V, so we just need to give it a boost so it can do its vacuum thing with the skipper. And we'll keep it all nice and simple like that. So that's plenty of delta V, possibly past the moon and everything. Alright, well, a little bit off the pad shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to put fins initially. And we will try this. And we've got to put a Kerbal on. Um, What Kerbal seems like they have the most irradiated name? Jed Hat. Look at the hair. I mean, they're all green to begin with, so... That's no way to judge. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, here we go. Ignition. Just go. And launch. The control core is a little bit off-center, so that's not a surprise. So we actually want to go to Minmus and the moon first and then we'll go out to Duna and then try to visit the rest of the planets ultimately because after all this thing has well more than 20,000 meters per second of delta V and we intend to use it. Oh gosh. Okay, separation and ignition of the trumpet. Oh, my payload is going out of the bay. Um that was the decoupler for the payload. This seems... Maybe maybe I got the decoupler wrong. Revert, revert. Maybe I put the wrong decoupler in the wrong place there. No, that was the right decoupler. Um, hmm. Well, maybe we need some struts. Payload is weird. Maybe I should just have one stage to orbit. That would simplify things. All right, ignition and launch. Okay. Oh no, it fell out again. It's just the reactor falling out. <laughs> oh no, wait, it's gone all haywire. It probably wasn't just the reactor. I mean, really, the skipper stage alone with, like, one of the old orange tank-sized tanks to do the trick. Okay, here we go again.
I was hoping to give the little ion engine ship a head start out to the moon with the upper stage, but... Well, it's, it's best to actually get to orbit, at least. Okay, let's coast a bit. If I release the fairings... Will everything be alright? Hmm... I don't know why the decoupling caused that problem in the first place last time. I mean, the decoupler... The relevant decoupler is up here anyway. It's clear that the little Octo-2 reaction wheel is not good enough for this, but it wasn't meant to be. Let me jettison the fairings. No, don't come back. You guys are supposed to disappear. You guys are supposed to disappear? Okay. Okay. Well... Alright. Separation? Ions... Can they do ion things? No! Things are falling apart! Well, I'm going to have to find another way to attach the nuke. I do think I have an idea. Okay, I've decided to do a much less interesting format and put everything in line in the hope that it will stay stable. Interesting, interestingly enough, I have the same amount of fuel, but our Delta V is reading completely differently. Um, so that's fascinating. But, yeah. Maybe this will help, maybe it won't. Well, I actually have one set, one pair of these different. We do have one extra engine, though. So we have the Kerbal sitting up there this time. No fancy balancing thing. It's all much more boring. But let's see if we can get down to testing what we're supposed to be testing, though. Okay, so we've added a control core to the rocket itself instead of using the payload's control core. Something everybody should do to avoid wobbly rockets. And we added one little tank here in order to compensate for the mass of the control core. And let us go. I made the control core the root part, of course. Well, okay, it'll be lopsided, but that, well, okay, let's wait a bit, fairing off. Sort of reminds me of that character from Doctor Strange Love that rode the bomb down. Well, we should probably enable the reactor, huh? Something about the conversion rate, I assume that gives us all of our electric charge. I do want all the electric charge. Tons per day, huh? Hmm, I don't know how many tons we've got in there. I think it was like 0.5 or something like that. So, that's not a whole lot of days if we're constantly using it. We don't really have a uranium tracker in the vessel resources. Generator. We've got a uranium tracker here. Yes, it's 0.5 tons. I might regret not having a bigger reaction wheel than whatever the Octo-2 has. You'll see. Right now we're using the reaction wheel in the big core. Ooh, that was bouncy. Okay, we're just taking all we can get. Separation. Okay, wrong vehicle. Freight vehicle. Ion engine power. 37,000 meters per second it says. It claims. Yeah, the thrust limit is just a tiny bit because we're losing power just slightly, so that'll stop that. Right. Well, let's plot our way to the moon first. This is roughly the right idea. Maybe I should just keep going like that. I guess I'll do some of it there. 
Uh, I can't. Uh, they they don't have the ability to plot multiple maneuvers and really have that work out for us, do they? <laughs> Burning right into the ground. Just point prograde and burn, will you please? It doesn't hold prograde though. Is the key problem. If it could hold prograde during time warp, that would be awesome. That is not something it does. And our other stage is going all haywire again, as always. Okay, so we might as well burn right now still. Just checking. They didn't really tell us to burn time with these ions. Oh, the power... Why would the power go down? Oh, nuclear reactor. Hmm. Well, right now it's not providing for us during time warp. What? Okay, it is in increasing our PE. But now during time warp it doesn't. Well, that's not good. Now why would it do that? It was working before. Okay, it's taking Delta V. We're pointing prograde. It's taking Delta V, but it's not changing our orbit at all. So we are consuming the xenon gas in theory. But it's not giving us any effect. Our orbit is not changing. Unless we're out of time warp. In time warp, our orbit is not changing. Do I have too much thrust for that to work? All period doesn't work anymore. That there isn't a special fizz warp thing. Well, let me cut that and see if we can get back to periapsis and have it work this time. Uh, we don't. We still don't have enough time at periapsis. We'll have to make multiple goes of it. But I guess we could do that. However, it seems like there's too much peculiarity with this particular vessel. Cool though it seems, and of course, great though it's Delta V, and maybe I'm gonna need to test the SOI stuff with something a little bit more conventional. Okay, we are using our ion engines to full power here, and trying to time more. No, it doesn't work. Well, okay. I'm going to try to exit, come back in, and see if it'll work. Okay. We are using the ion engines again and trying to time warp. Nope. Out of time warp. It is changing our orbit in time warp. It's not, but it's using Delta V. Uh, well, let's see if it's doing anything to our orbit during time or even if it's, it doesn't say. No, it's not doing anything to our orbit. Still using Delta V though. Okay, well, obviously with the ion engines not being able to work during time warp, it's gonna take way too long to do anything with this. So maybe I don't know, there's some limitations to the time warp with ion engine thing that I don't know. And, and I'm not getting that, but yeah. This right now looks like it's not gonna get to the moon anytime soon. So I'm going to pause it right here and I'm going to come up with something else to use to test the SOI change. But our 
wonderful ion engine ship, the Xenon Demon 2, uh, is not apparently capable. So, unless somebody can tell me what to do about this, I'll leave it here for now. And maybe if you guys have any, any idea about how to use the ion engines during time warp that I don't understand, you know, there's something weird going on here, then please let me know. Uh, but yeah, we'll just leave Jet Hat up here. Jet Hat will be thrilled to have the nuclear reactor sitting right in front of him just like that. So, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.